All right, here we go. We're going to start working on factoring now. So we have x squared plus 6x plus 8, and we're supposed to factor this polynomial down, or this trinomial specifically. Okay, first rule of factoring is pull out the GCF. Do we have one here in this case? No. Now we look to see how many terms we have. Because we have three terms, we're going to try trial and error. So trial and error means throw down your parentheses, try something. If it doesn't work, try something else. But we're going to be kind of smart about this before we start in. Uh, we know that the first term comes from multiplying the first terms in the binomial. So what times what would give us x squared? This is the easy part. Okay. Now for the analyzing part. This last sign tells us whether they are the same or different. Because it's positive, we know that our signs have to be the same. And if they are the same, this sign tells us what the signs are. So we know right now that our signs have to be positive. All right, now the last term. The last term comes from multiplying the last terms in the binomial. So we have to think of what times what will give us an 8. And also we have to remember that it has to combine somehow to give us a 6 in the middle. So if you need to, you can always come out to the side and say, okay, 8 would be 1 times 8 or 2 times 4. Now, which one of those combinations is more likely um, to give us a 6 as our middle term? Would have to be our 2 and our 4. So let's try that and see if it works. Okay, this then is what we're hoping is the factorization. Let's check it to make sure. x times x would give us x squared x times 4 would be a plus 4x. Now distribute our 2. 2 times x would be plus 2x. 2 times 4 would be plus 8. So when we combine our like terms, we have x squared plus 6x plus 8. That checks. So this is the factorization there. All right, next one. Here again, we do not have a greatest common factor to pull out. There are three terms, so we factor by trial and error. So let's throw down our parentheses. And our first terms in the binomial are the easy parts. y times y would give us y squared. Now, this sign is going to tell us whether they're the same or different. Because it's positive, that's going to tell us that these are the same sign. Because they are the same, this tells us what they are. So both of these are negative. Now the last position, we have to multiply these together to get the 11. So what times what would be 11? Well, with 11, you only have one set of factors. It's just 1 times 11. So hopefully, this is the factorization. Now we can check it to make sure, and we know that the first terms and the last terms are going to work out. Really, it's just the middle term we have to check. So multiplying negative 1 times y would be negative y, and multiplying y times negative 11 would be a negative 11y. Negative y and negative 11y is negative 12y, so this is the proper factorization. All right, here again, no GCF, three terms, so we factor by trial and error. First position is the easy one, x times x gives us an x squared. Now, this tells us that our signs are going to be different. So that tells us that one will be positive and the other one has to be negative. So we're thinking of two things that will multiply together to get 30. But we're going to be subtracting these this time because our signs are different. So if you think about it, 6 times 5 is 30. And if the 6 is negative and the 5 is positive, then when you combine them, 5x and negative 6x, doesn't that combine to give you a negative x in the middle? There is our factorization.